I'm doing the camping, not the camping video, what? I'm doing the camping video. No. Hi friends! Today I'm doing the how to pack or what to pack really for cheer camp, like the actual packing one. So, um, in one of my last videos I actually like listed and like said what toiletries I recommend you pack. I'll link that video below if you didn't go check that out. Um, but this is actually like the actual packing. Like you can actually see how to pack what I also like what else I say you probably need to pack and just overall how to pack. Did I did it just get dark? Whatever. Anyways, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get on into it. <laughs> Alright, so I just laid everything out and I'm gonna go through it all. This is the duffel bag we're gonna be packing the majority of our stuff in. This my it was required for everyone on my team to buy it. We bought it through Varsity, so um, if you don't, if your team isn't required to buy a duffel bag, I rec you can get duffel bags at cheer competitions. You can get Nike ones online at like Dick's Sporting Goods or Sports Chalet or whatever you have, or you could just do your cheer backpack if you're staying for not that long. This is this video is mainly geared toward the overnight, but of course, just bring however many of whatever you need for this. I packed for about a two-day camp, I think, or I laid stuff out for that, and I'll just start going through it all right now. And I have it faced this way. On the front, it says my school name, HS, cheerleader, and it has my name right here. If you can read that upside down, it says Adriana. It has two pockets on the side. So first off, something that I feel is very important, cheer shoes. These are just the cheer shoes that I'm going to be bringing. They're really dirty, I know. These are the varsity ones. I'm not sure which ones. But um, I am just going to put these on the pocket. They fit perfectly just like that. So I'm going to keep that right there. And next, very obviously, you're going to want to bring whatever cheer clothes you are assigned to wear. So per if you're required to wear softies, bring your softies. Nike Pros, bring your Nike Pros. Whatever shirts you guys bought for camp, bring those. Um, our co we wouldn't buy shorts through Varsity. My coaches would just tell us to go um, either buy Nike Pros or Sofies to wear with our camp stuff or leggings. Like right here I have Capri leggings that our coach wanted us to buy. So here I have just a pair of Nike Pros. This is a shirt you probably saw in my cheer apparel video. So go check that out. I didn't show this jersey in my cheer apparel because it was in the wash. But um, this is a jersey that we also wore to camp last year. This was the year before. And then Capri leggings. So I just put together two outfits that I coach I feel would probably have us wear. So you're just going to want to pack these up in here. Just like that. Perfect. And now of course to wear under all your stuff. You're going to have to want to bring... However many sports bras, this is an Adidas one and the purple one's from Forever 21. Socks. I don't wear matching socks. I don't know about you guys, but I don't wear no matching socks. I think it's bad luck. And, of course, underwear. That's very essential for obvious reasons. So we're also just going to want to pack these. However many you need or you feel you're going to need, you're obviously going to want to pack. And next thing is pajamas. You can see back there, I brought pajamas. So I just packed a cotton Victoria's Secret pink sports bra because they're really comfy and they're just very, I don't know, comfy. So this is, I wear for pajamas. I will wear these as pajamas because they're definitely not my school colors. So yeah, I got these from Dick's Sporting Goods. I got them on sale a little while ago for like $20. It was great. And then this is just a Duel in the Desert shirt. Um, I don't know. Just some random shirt that I thought would be good to wear as pajamas. So yeah, and then we're just going to pack that. Something I recommend packing, you don't have to, it obviously depends on your coaches, but also you never know. Just a normal, very plain, basic outfit for going out. Just like a casual outfit. So I brought this little crop top from Forever 21 and a pair of jean shorts. And then these, these are Nikes actually. I feel like they're like Sperry knockoffs. I don't know. I think they're cute. 
they're Nikes. And I packed this because you never know if your coaches are going to want to take you out like on a team lunch or a team dinner. And they want you to dress nice. So just in case, I always pack just a very little basic plain outfit just in case. And of course, only pack it if you have room in your bag. You feel you have room. I am bringing my wallet. This is just my wallet. I don't have money, but I have receipts and like my student ID and whatnot. I recommend packing this just in case you guys go out to lunch after, after camp, like on your way home from camp, or like my last camp was at UCLA. So we, um, Varsity had like a little store and there was also the Bruin store. So that um, I got like a hoodie from Varsity and like a shirt from Varsity and like some pins. And my mom like took me down to the Bruin store and I bought like a UCLA pin. So you might want to pack money and obviously your wallet to hold the money in. So I'm packing that. I recommend that. This you guys saw in my last video. This is what I recommend to pack all my toiletries in. And it is what I put all my toiletries in. So I'll show you. So in here I have just about everything I mentioned. These are the only makeup brushes I bought and some tweezers, hairbrush. Oh, it all fell to one side. Contact solution, very little makeup, um, bobby pins, hair ties, I think I already said hairbrush, teasing comb, brow gel, SPF for face, uh, face um, wash, shower gel. Uh, you could just see everything, a little, very little makeup. So yeah, that is what I packed everything in. And it fits very nicely in our duffel bag on the side. The things that aren't in there right now um, didn't really fit. So I'm going to show you those. Hairspray. You need hairspray to do your hair. Put that in there. And then, of course, um, body moisturizer and body spray. Because you don't want to stink. And you want to moisturize them long tan legs. Things I didn't mention are hair straightener and curling iron. I'm going to put these on the side pocket because they fit nicely. But obviously, for obvious reasons, you're going to want to take those for whatever your coaches want you to do with your hair. Those fit very nicely right there on the side pocket. Most girls and most everyone takes their like electronics to camp um you can still for like the car ride there and the car ride back but i'm just gonna say while you're at camp you might think you have time to like hang out with your friends be on your phone call your friends that aren't cheerleaders and like play games and stuff like that on things like this you're not gonna have that much time the time that you have off which is very little you're gonna be with your with your girls with your team and hanging out because it's like a good bonding experience and if you're not doing that you're sleeping or eating so I I still brought my stuff like my phone and obviously with all these things you are going to want to bring chargers for everything now most places like hotels um, have swimming pools in some of my camps I did stay in a hotel and we actually did have an opportunity to go in the swimming pool, but of course my team didn't. We we just like stayed in our rooms and bonded with each other. But if you're one of those teams that does have time to go down to the pool and wants to go down to the pool together as a team, I recommend bringing a bathing suit. Now, one thing I don't recommend is bringing like your triangle bathing suit. These are really expensive. They're really nice. And of course you're going to want to like, I guess, show them off because they look good on you and whatnot. But I really don't recommend bringing like your triangle bikini because it can get damaged or stolen and these things are $90. You don't want anything to happen to this. That's expensive and it's not worth it. So I recommend bringing like these are really cute bathing suits from Forever 21. I got this one from Forever 21. I love this. I wear it all the time and you're just going to want to, I can't find the bottoms. <laughs> Sorry. I just recommend bringing these because they are really good quality for how inexpensive they are. You could buy a ton, and if it gets lost or damaged, it's obviously going to matter, but not as much as if you lost or damaged your triangle bathing suit. The last but certainly not least thing that we're packing, if your team has them, are pom-poms. I know, so cliche, but 
You're obviously going to need them. Your coaches are going to want you to bring them. You're going to need to pack them. Now, extra things that you're going to want to pack that I don't have here are, like, snacks. You're going to want to bring snacks for just as many as you want. And you're obviously going to want to probably donate to your coach some, like, water bottles or Gatorades. Um, my coach had that opportunity where she asked at least... She asked every parent to bring at least one or two uh, cases of water bottles to, for us to take to camp. And my coach also brought a cooler or like a ice chest for us. But one thing my coach did do, and she did it for everyone on our team, she made us these. These are big water jugs and she decorated them. She put this ribbon up here. Mine's kind of broken. Um, oh, up here. Mine's a little broken right there. And she made bows and hot glued them to this. And she put our names on them with like rhinestones. So mine says Adriana. And yeah, so this is actually a really good idea. You could do this as a team bonding thing. Everyone can go to someone's house or your coach's house and make these together. Or you could just make it for yourself if your coach will let you. But this was a really good idea because after we all took these to practice, we filled them up with ice. Actually, what we did every morning was we filled them up with ice. And then we'd walk down to where our camp was at. And by the time of our first water break, half of the ice would be melted, so it would be really cold water. And then our coaches just filled, up, filled these up with water bottles. And then we went and recycled the water bottles after camp, and we made money for our cheer team. It was great. So I highly recommend doing this. This was a great idea, and it was a lot of fun. Of course, whatever you don't pack or you can't fit in your cheer duffel bag or your duffel bag, that's what a cheer backpack's for. I covered my name up with a makeup wipe, lol. It has my name on it. Right now I just have clothes in it from when I went to my friend's house. Or not my friend's house, my dad's house. And if you want to see what was in my backpack at camp, I'll link that video below that I did last year. And yeah, so that's definitely a good idea to do for your cheer backpack. Alright, so that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys liked it, don't forget to thumbs it up. And also don't forget to leave video requests in the comments below. All of my social media will be in the down bar below. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay smiling, guys. Bye.